very few homes that perfectly execute luxury and practicality. When a home offers a luxury experience, it typically is missing practical elements that make it a seamless place to live. That same sentiment rings true to homes that possess many themes of practicality. So when I came across a home that had both, I knew immediately it was going to be something special. Today, we're taking a tour of that very home. Say hello to the Hamilton Estate located here in Kansas City, Missouri. This elegantly crafted European-inspired home is by Cardinal Crest Homes, and it is full of charm around every corner. From its gorgeous great room to the incredibly awesome prep kitchen and pantry, it certainly ranks high as one of my favorites that we've ever toured. This home features four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and a six-car tandem garage sitting inside an exquisite exquisitely designed 4,113 square feet. On the front of the home, you'll find a European inspired elevation with two towering gables, which give this home a distinct appearance and perfectly blends the gorgeous stone accents, stucco, and wood siding. Moving around to the back of the home, there is a large covered deck that seems to go on forever. It has a beautiful stone fireplace right in the middle and offers plenty of space for outdoor entertainment. On the basement level, there is a large patio that also extends from one end of the home to the other and offers even more space for backyard fun. As far as the price of this home, all in will run you approximately $2.1 million, including lot and upgrades, though that price could differ due to a number of reasons. Now before we get started, make sure that you check out timothypetelivingston.com where you can search for this home and all the homes that we've toured across the country and you can see if they're built in your area, get price information, and so much more. With that, let's go ahead and get in this home. Alrighty, so this is the view when you first walk in and it is absolutely beautiful of course i say that in every home but this one it just keeps going and getting better as it does go so turning it around into the two-story foyer beautiful light fixture up there plenty of windows and then you have the staircase going up to the second floor as well as down to the basement so right after you walk in you've got this great big glass wall right here which really gives this office space like an industrial feel like I don't know. I just, I think it looks really good. Pretty sharp looking. And then coming into the office itself. Just really, really going with like that. Uh, like the whole home brings those European accents together. It's almost like a I don't know. It's like a giant cottage is what it feels like. But beautiful space. And then from here, we'll go up underneath of this catwalk right here, which connects all of the bedrooms upstairs. And you enter into the great room. So you got the vaulted ceilings with the exposed beams great big sprawling light fixture right here and then a massive gas fireplace with these big old built-ins on either side and that just looks cool so no mantle but you do have the hearth down here which is uh, pretty nice and then all of the wait until y'all see these uh, like light toggles like the light switches they're literally toggles <laughs> Uh, it's crazy. They're all like gold plated and everything. I think it looks super cool. But a lot of windows in here. Uh, you do have views back up into the catwalk uh, from this side as well, which is pretty nice. And then this kitchen. Y'all, man, this is what dreams are made of. So this is the main kitchen. You got this beautiful island, lovely wood color right here. Oh, these countertops are to die for, like killer. Got the gold plates. Nice. Ooh, the, look at this dishwasher. Blends right in, you would never know it. 
That is cool. And this sink, like the whole island, the countertop, just, it's all one piece. That's what it looks like anyway. How cool is that? All right, and then getting into the, <laughs> the stove. Man, look at all these little ovens. Got another little oven over here. The range hood. And it just all seamlessly blends together, which is, I mean, I know I say they're all cool and I always see the coolest one, but this might actually be it. I mean, just the detail, it's ridiculous. And then on the opposite side, I, I guess this is the refrigerator. I don't normally open them, but anymore. But I love how it just blends together. And you got, I guess that would be the freezer on the bottom and then this beautiful cabinetry with the glass front. And this, <laughs> wait till you see this pantry. It's like a whole butler's pantry. One, you got the automatic light. So when I get in here, light will turn on just like that. But you got the ladder with all the shelves and the ladder. Oh, it flows so nicely again. Remember how we did in Pittsburgh? I might actually get on this and we'll do some, <laughs> some after shots at the end. So, but plenty of shelves on both the front and the back. And then you can enter into, uh, I guess the prep pantry. You got a sink in here, some open shelves, and it's so moody. With just that single light right there, you got the wine chiller. Ooh, a little ice maker. Great big deep drawer right here. You got two of those little square ones on either side. And then you got a microwave in here too. It's pretty dark, but still. But see, these are the light switches that I was talking about. They're just like toggles. I don't know, I think they're pretty neat. And then right off of that, you've got the dining room. Again, vaulted ceiling, but all wood in here. And just a great big space, 180 degree views out. Uh, sliding glass door on either side and then windows on the back. Got that built-in grill out there. We're about to get out there. It's a little windy though. This whole trip has been so windy. Uh, to the point where my drone, it said, nah, I'm done. <laughs> they did that when we were in uh, uh, Wichita. But anyway, you come out here, got the ceiling fan, you got another gas fireplace. Great big mantle out here on this one with the stone fireplace. And then the sconces out here are just gorgeous. And then this kind of wraps around. This is the access out onto the back porch from the master bedroom. And we'll get into there in just a minute. Try and block y'all from the wind a little bit, but we'll get over here and check out the grill. Whew, that's clean. And then uh, that door right there comes out of the garage, but we'll get into the garage uh, in just a minute as well, but let's go back inside and there is, <laughs> we'll actually head to the garage right now, uh, down the little hallway. Man, yeah, y'all let me know what you think about this home and we, we've barely gotten into it, uh, but let me know down in the comments. So this hallway right here, uh, goes all the way back down to the foyer. And this is the garage door. It's just a big old garage. So that's the door that we saw out by the grill. And then you even got the lights in here. That's pretty nice. And your three stalls. And then right inside your mudroom, this has got to be the fanciest mudroom I've ever seen. So you've got all of these built-ins, like cubby holes, 
They're basically like lockers. They open them up, they've got hooks on them. They've got these fun little cutouts, soft clothes. Very nice. And then you've got this almost like a day bed at the end, just a good spot to kind of sit down and kick your shoes off where you got plenty of room. And then you've got a great big storage closet in here or like a coat room, hang up your jackets. And then next to that is the powder room. So you've got your toilet and this Really pretty vanity right here with the, the gold mirror. The ceilings are nice. And you've got a little floating shelf down below it. All right, so there is a master bedroom on the main level and we're gonna do that right now. But at the end of the hall, Coming into the master suite, you got a great big linen closet right here. I guess we'll go this way first. This uh, this laundry room behind us, it is it is something. So coming into the master bedroom, more exposed beams. I love the almost stone accent wall. It's like a wrought iron, almost light fixture. I'm telling you around every corner is something awesome. So <laughs> coming into the master bedroom, beautiful tub. You got double vanities, one on either side. Opposite that, you do have the water closet. in this shower. Double shower heads. Great big bench. Nice tile shower tray. Yes, please. <laughs> and then all the way at the end, you've got a makeup vanity. Again, another little fun light fixture. Let's, let's see, I haven't checked the drawers in here. That one doesn't open. Yeah, they seem, they are soft clothes as well. And then from here, you come into the master closet. Now you can access this from the laundry room as well. And you know how we saw all those super tall closets when we were in Wichita? Well, this one also has it, but it's got these handy dandy pull down racks. So that makes it convenient, way easier than, I guess they're already attached, you know what I mean? But they're soft clothes, so. I wanted to be uh, careful with it when I, <laughs> when I first did it. You know, I've never seen anything like that. But through the closet, you come into the laundry room, beautiful floors. I love the color too, I think that looks amazing. You've got space for front load washer and dryer and a nice folding table. You've got a wash basin right here. And then just a really pretty, like uh, the prettiest laundry room I've ever seen. All right, so we'll go ahead and go downstairs real quick. There's not a lot to downstairs. You have a little sitting room down here and then the basement is pretty much unfinished. A nice little sitting room and then you come through here plenty of space access out onto the patio just pan you around real quick you've got some uh, storage right there underneath of the stairs the furnace the water heater even more space over here so I mean all this stuff could be rooms Let me know what you think about it. What would you do with it? 
but you leave it as storage and then you have even more here underneath of the garage. So plenty of storage space. All right, so now we're gonna work our way back up to the foyer and we're gonna head upstairs. And as we work our way up, you get ever closer to that beautiful light fixture right here. The catwalk, I love the railings on either side. So to the left of us, right here, you have one bathroom as well as one bedroom. This is the first, there's actually what, three bedrooms up here. So this one sits on the front of the home. And then into its closet. And then across the way, really nice bowl sink right there. I love that. Just the texture on the knob. Then you've got the toilet and a standalone shower with the tile surround and shower tray. Then at the end of the hall is just uh, the upstairs furnace. Now you do have a, an upstairs laundry also. So that is very convenient. And that sits right through here. Got some more storage cabinets, all nice and built in. And then you come into the laundry room. So great space to fold some clothes and some more washer and dryer hookups. Yeah, I was like, Jen got me to get an early start because she was like, this home's massive. It's going to take you forever. And I actually fly out tonight. So I got this home and I've got one more home I got to do. And then I got to be at the airport by like five. So she wanted me to get an early start. You know, I got to get my, I got to get my beauty sleep. You know what I mean? Got to be fresh. But uh, anyway, um, I walked in here and I was like, oh, it's not too bad. You know what I mean? It's not overly big it's it's a it's a really good size but coming into the second bedroom up here and i like that this one has its own ensuite actually within the room not in the hallway a little light fixture up there too and then this has a jack and jill bathroom that connects the two bedrooms into the closet and attic access in this closet now this i will say that this home is a tall home so having even more space in an attic is i mean that's pretty crazy so shower and tub combo in here and the toilet Ooh, that tripped me out. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. I thought it was going to be a whole drawer. That's funny. Oh, the things we find. And then this is the third bedroom up here. I love the tray ceiling. Get over here in this corner. Yeah, so I like this one. Thank you so much for taking the time to tour this home with me today. If you are interested in this model or Cardinal Crest Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description as well as over at timothyplivingston.com where again, you can search this home as well as all the homes that we've toured across the country and get all different types of information. 
With that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. My name is Timothy, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.